Defense Minister Luis Crescencio Sandoval reported that 19 suspected gang members and 10 military personnel had been killed in the wave of violence that followed the arrest of Mexican drug cartel boss Ovidio Guzman in the northern state of Sinaloa. The minister reported that Mexican security forces had arrested Guzman, the 32-year-old son of jailed kingpin Joaquin El Chapo, in the early morning hours, sending off hours of unrest and shootouts with gang members. In this video, we are going to see how his son got arrested and why he is getting transferred to the Supermax. Stay with us till the end to know the entire news. Mr. Sandoval also said that after Guzman was captured, he was flown to Mexico City and then transferred to a high-security federal prison. After El Chapo's capture, the powerful Sinaloa cartel went on the offensive in and around Culiacan, Sinaloa's capital and largest city, torching cars, closing roads, and engaging in violent clashes with security forces. At a press conference, Mr. Sandoval said that in addition to the 21 people killed, no civilians were harmed during the operations on Thursday. Ovidio's father was extradited to the U.S. in 2017 and found guilty in a New York court. President Andreas Manuel López Obrador has said there are no immediate plans to extradite Ovidio to the U.S. The President's Stand The President stated, The elements of the case have to be presented and the judges in Mexico decide it takes time. The request isn't the only issue. In his statement, López Obrador claimed that no American forces had helped in the capture of Ovidio. Sandoval has announced that an additional 1,000 military personnel will arrive in Sinaloa, on Mexico's Pacific coast, today to bolster the existing security presence and ensure the local population's safety. On Thursday, passengers on an Aeromexico flight at Culiacan Airport ducked under their seats as gunfire echoed around the runway. Passenger David Tellez recalled, As we were accelerating for takeoff, we heard gunshots very close to the plane, and that's when we all threw ourselves to the floor. Aeromexico reported that one of their planes was shot at in Culiacan, but that everyone on board was safe. After being closed because of the violence, the airport was scheduled to open later. In 2019, Lopez Obrador's government was publicly shamed for the failure of an operation to apprehend Ovidio. A violent backlash from cartel loyalists ensued after security forces briefly detained Ovidio, prompting authorities to swiftly release him to avoid further retaliation from his henchmen. Joe Biden, vice president of the U.S., will be attending a summit of North American leaders in Mexico City, and his capture comes just in time. Security cooperation is expected to be discussed. The issue of extradition For a long time, the U.S. has tried to secure Guzman's extradition. The U.S. Department of State offered $5 million for information leading to his conviction in 2021. The U.S. has charged Guzman, also known as the Mouse, with conspiring to import and distribute illegal substances. According to the State Department, he oversaw Sinaloan methamphetamine labs that churned out three to 5,000 pounds of the drug every month. The State Department also claimed he was linked to multiple murders, including that of a famous Mexican singer who had declined to perform at his wedding. Pressure to apprehend Guzman has increased because of the epidemic of fentanyl overdose deaths it has caused in the U.S. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration blames the Sinaloa cartel and other gang for producing and distributing the vast majority of fentanyl used in America. Social, economic, and sustainable principles must underpin the SGI's actualization. On Friday, a federal judge in Mexico City blocked the extradition to the U.S. of Ovidio Guzman, the alleged drug cartel leader and son of El Chapo, who was arrested the day before in a massive operation in northern Mexico that resulted in the deaths of 29 people. The U.S. is offering a reward of up to $5 million for information leading to the arrest of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, whom they describe as a senior member of the Sinaloa cartel for drug trafficking. Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard confirmed that the U.S. has issued an arrest warrant for Guzman with the date of September 19, 2019. Still, he added that the extradition process could take some time due to legal formalities. He added that legal proceedings against Guzman are still ongoing in Mexico. Later, after a hearing at the Altiplano Maximum Security Federal Prison where Guzman is being held, another federal judge reportedly ordered Guzman to remain in 60 days of preventive detention for the purpose of extradition. CNN has reached out to Guzman's attorneys for comment but has not yet received a response. On July 11, 2015, Guzman's father El Chapo escaped from Altiplano Prison using a mile-long tunnel equipped with a motorcycle on tracks. Four years later, he was apprehended and convicted in the U.S. on 10 counts, including running a persistent criminal enterprise, drug trafficking, and weapon charges. 
he received a forfeiture order for $12.6 billion and a life sentence plus 30 years. The federal government had previously arrested Ovidio Guzman in October 2019, but President Andreas Manuel López Obrador ordered his release to prevent further violence. His most recent detention precedes the North American Leader Summit that Vice President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada will attend in Mexico City in a matter of days. Gladys McCormick, an associate professor at Syracuse University who specializes in Mexico-U.S. relations, told CNN in an email that capturing Guzman could be a way for López Obrador to demonstrate to the U.S. that he is in control of the armed forces and Mexico's security situation. She went on to say, it diffuses the power behind any request from the Biden administration to stem the tide of fentanyl and other narcotics across the border. For his part, López Obrador said at a press conference on Friday that the arrest of Guzman was not related to Biden's visit and that Mexican authorities had acted independently. The Mexican president has said, about interpretations, there are a lot of them. We do not share them. We acted with autonomy. Bloody fallout. Culiacan descended into anarchy after the arrest of Guzman. Authorities urged residents to seek safety as fighting broke out in multiple locations. According to Defense Minister Luis Crescencio Sandoval on Friday, 200 special forces were involved in the long operation that led to his arrest. Local officials urged residents to stay inside as fighting broke out between citizens and cartel members in different parts of the city. After the arrest of Guzman and 21 others, violent clashes broke out in the northern Mexican state of Sinaloa, killing at least 19 suspected gang members and 10 military personnel. There were no reported injuries or deaths among civilians. Since Guzman's arrest, the minister said, prison security at Altiplano has been stepped up. However, the president reported that things had calmed down in the city and that officials were making progress in clearing the roads. Lopez Obrador boasted, We opened all the blocked roads in Culiacan and we are working to remove the vehicles that are sitting along the streets. Culiacan is in the state of Sinaloa, which is home to one of the most powerful narcotics trafficking organizations in the world, the Sinaloa Cartel, of which El Chapo was the leader. According to the U.S. State Department, law enforcement investigations showed that after the death of another brother, Edgar Guzman Lopez, Guzman and his brother Joaquin Guzman Lopez inherited a great deal of the narcotics proceeds. They began investing significant portions of the funds in the acquisition of narcotics in Mexico and Colombia. As they experimented with methamphetamine production, they also began purchasing large quantities of ephedrine from Argentina and arranging for the smuggling of the product into Mexico the State Department said. The brothers are also accused of running approximately 11 methamphetamine labs in the state of Sinaloa, according to the State Department. What do you think of El Chapo's son's arrest and transfer to another prison cell? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.